Hi guys, today is a bit of a rescue video because yesterday we found a pigeon on the floor and we realised it couldn't fly. So we thought, well, we can't just leave it here because some predator, some cat, some fox, anything could easily just come and pick it up and take it. And we did not want that to happen. So we thought, you know what, let's rescue this pigeon. So what we did, we picked it up, put it in a jacket, took it home, and it's luckily survived the night, which is a good sign. It's eating and drinking, which is also good. And I think it's just a bit of a traumatic, just a bit traumatic for it at the minute. So it's a bit scared. It's really friendly, actually. It will let you pick it up. Obviously, it can't fly away, so it doesn't try to fly away because it knows it can't fly. But, yeah, this is the pigeon at the minute. So we've got this bird cage here. Um, put a patch here just in case. Some sawdust and the feeding station. I've got it's got mealworms, some budgie seed, and some water. We've also got wild bird seed for him or her, <coughs> just in case. We just we've just put the budgie seed in there for now, just so it can actually eat some food because we don't know if um because obviously the wild bird seed is actually bigger. We don't know if it will actually like digest it or stuff. I don't know. Yeah, so you so like. <coughs> The pigeon is really friendly to touch. Like, it will let you touch it and everything. Like, but what we were doing at the minute is upstairs in Rio's room. Is there no other animals that can get up here? My voice is going. <coughs> so, it won't pass on any disease if it has any. That's why we're like quarantining it, just in case it is carrying disease, and we, which we don't want them it to be passed on to our other birds. So we're being really careful. Like, as soon as we handle it. We um, wash our hands. We have to be really, really careful. And we did a lot of research on like if it can transmit any diseases to humans, but it, we can only carry the diseases from it. We can't. It didn't actually affect us, but they carry diseases through their poo. So what they'll do, it, the poo will have diseases in it, and when the poo, like, it will dissolves into dust. No, it will like, cr it will get crusty and then like and then in a couple of days it turns into dust and then the dust gets blow, blown away and then that's what the disease is it carries through the air so it can only affect other birds, it can't affect us which this is the reason why I've got it upstairs and all the other birds are downstairs and outside so they are fine and shouldn't get any diseases do you want to get them out? Mm, yeah because what I'm thinking is they can fit through the door no because obviously we've got school, so we're not going to be touching any of the birds. And then when we get back from school, we're going to change the clothes in anyway. So it's not like we've got the same clothes, we're holding the bird in the same out. clothes. I'll just hold this up. I'll hold it up because I can't really... I can't really get it out, can I? Oops, it's not usually this... Well, she's getting, he or she is getting more feisty. Not feisty, it's just wanting to adventure a bit. It has really bad balance as well, so. See, oh, look, look it's a little crested. Look. Right now, if, even if, the thing what I don't really get about um, this pigeon is, even though it can't fly, it's it doesn't even try still to. not trying to get away. Because it, it's like, we were thinking if it was like someone's pigeon, but, but it if you look at its feet, it has no um, band on there, so it's not no one's pigeon, but we just found it a bit unusual how it wasn't actually trying to get away. Mm. So we need some names. We think it might be a girl, as we saw three magpies today, and that means three is a girl. So we are thinking it might be a girl. We are thinking a name like... That means something to us. So like, something like miracle or destiny or something along them lines. Obviously, because this bird, if we left this bird, it could it could be dead by now. I don't think it really likes standing on them. Meh. Yeah. Oh, doesn't like it. Doesn't yeah. like going on here. It, it won't fit through there, will it? Mm. So obviously, we're gonna go to school after probably after this video.
It's kind of just like... Wait. Why is it so thingy? It's bro- Feel its chest. Is it got just? A, is it literally the bone? It's literally just like a massive bone going there. Feel it. Is it? Is it exposed? Yeah. Look. Yeah, is there a cut open where the bones come out? There. Look. Lift up your feathers. Can you actually see the actual bone as there's skin over it? If there is, then that's really bad. I know. That's why you need to always check. We need to keep an eye on it really well. Actually, I'll just go. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll just go out and hold it. That's his bone. Is there any cuts or anything? Lift up all the feathers. Oh yeah. Wait, do oh it again. Oh my god, that's really bad. It might just be really skinny. We kind of need to overfeed the living daylights out of it. Yeah, but it's just so confused. What's that? What am I doing? The thing is, we've done a bit of research and it's saying that the pigeon will know if you're actually trying to help it or if you just or like what you're actually planning to do with it and obviously at the minute we've obviously we can't think bad things about us because we've gave it somewhere to live we've gave it a nice food warm place we've gave it food water we was thinking about staying, letting it stay outside in a cage, but obviously we live in Britain, so it's not very nice weather at the minute, and it's quite cold, and we don't want it to get too cold, especially where it can't find an other, a warm place to go. Because it was um, only outside in, like, a, a cage. And we don't want any predators to come over and scare it or even be able to get in. And that's why we bought it up here, but for two reasons. So that um, any of the... Do- oh, um, Nella can't come and scare it. <laughs> And just so it can't it's away from it, all the affect other birds. all the other birds. Yeah. Hopefully, we will be able. It will learn to fly because it cannot fly. And hopefully, it will recover into a and normal. Hopefully, pigeon. We, it can be released. If not, we, we are we are up for keeping it. We can't really release it though because um, once we've obviously gave it warmth, gave it food and water, it when it's like used to it it won't actually it might forget how to actually hunt and it and it might think oh when's my food coming wait maybe we could check if its wings broke because i know how to fix a broken wing but i know how to bandage it up how do you check if it's broken you just have to feel for like any bones that are out of place and if it because if its wing can go forward that means it's like dislocated and if it is then it's you can actually locate it back with yourself. And if it is broken, we're gonna to have to go shop, go to the shopping centre, get some bandages. Do you know the ones that are sticky ones, like the one that you can get in blues and pinks and that, them colours. Yeah. And then we'll get blue and pink. You just have to like wrap it around the brake, wherever the brake is, and then wrap it around the body so it stays in place. Yeah. And obviously, if we can find out either if it's both wings or just one. To be honest, but I don't even think it's really injured or broke. I just think it can't fly. Like it, it, it just like born with we not being able to fly. We were thinking that it fletched too early. Fledged. Fledged. Not I fletched. Keep fletched. <laughs> yeah, because it still looks quite young. It's really, I think it's quite small for a pigeon. Like this is my hand next to it. Look, that's my hand. So um, when we get back from the school, we'll probably do another video of us seeing if it's got any broken bones because we can't really check it at the minute because we don't want to it's still a bit traumatized from all the things that's happened so we don't want to that like, scare him too much just in case he has got a broken wing and makes it even hurt more hurt so i'm just gonna let it rest do you wanna put eat, the f- eat and drink do you want to put the camera down so we can actually check if it's got anything no that's what i said we'll do this after after, after school. school so it's got more time to rest and think about what it's going to do if it wants to survive or do not. Th- do you think that it's kind of food and water? Yeah. We don't want to overfeed it because obviously it's not, if it's not been used to f- eating, it's going to make it sick. If it's going to eat too much, we don't actually, you know, like you can't over overfeed it. You need to just gradually add more food. Yeah, because we need to actually kind of... And it's got in plenty of food there just in case it wants to eat. Um, you know what we I mean, should do? Scale, you? you know what we should start doing? Um, 
add in some mealworms and see, um, wild bird mix because the mealworms actually are quite fatty and it it's like a treat for birds and that would be quite good for it to get a bit more meat on it. I'm basically thinking like, what am I doing here? Why is there a house? Why am I sat on top of a bird cage like a parrot? Why am I flying in the wild and surviving for myself? Why are these people helping me? I don't think it likes stones on this sort of things. And as they say, birds, pigeons are rats with wings, but you know what? If it needs help, we're down to helping it. Yeah, and even if that mean, means spending lots of money and time on it, we're up for Even that. if it means we have to make a GoFundMe page or GoFundMe page so that we, we can, can actually pay get for, antibiotics. Pay for vet bills or we can either buy stuff ourselves. So, yeah, that's the video for today. We're going to make another one when we get back from school um, so is this video going to be the first part or is it going to be a joint video it's probably going to be the first part oh, okay so there's going to be two videos yeah right you're going to go back in your cage right so thanks for watching remember to stay tuned for part two and we'll see you later bye